What are you doing? What are you doing? We're just going to do a video. You want to say hi? Say hi. Oh, hi. Oh, where are you going? I love you. What are you doing, little two? Can you turn around? Your butt, your butt's going. What are you doing? Oh, there you are. Say hi. Wait, what are you doing? Can you say hi? You. Oh, where are we going? There it is. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. You're so studious. So, welcome back to my channel. I um, really wanted to do a video today discussing some ferret behaviors. So I think a lot of times people um, with multiple ferrets, or at least when you first get multiple ferrets, if you have more than one, you often wonder when they play, are they fighting? Or if you have already had a ferret and then you introduce a new ferret or a younger ferret or an older ferret, um, there's a lot of questions as to their behaviors. Are they fighting? Are they playing? Is this safe? Should I intervene? What is going on? Um, so I have four ferrets and I can tell you that they have never um, ever fought with each other in a way that made me feel um, unsafe for them. It really just all comes down to understanding their body language and the noises that they're making and their posture and just kind of what to expect in play versus um, a behavior that would be based in fear or aggression. So in this video, I just wanted to go over um, just some simple signs that may help you to determine um, if your ferrets are playing or fighting. Uh, so ferrets can be very vocal as well. And those vocalizations are often, um, can often be mistaken for something very negative when in fact they're not necessarily anything to be worried about or fearful about and your ferrets really aren't hurting each other um, they may just be playing and they may just be vocal i've heard some ferrets that are super vocal when they play and then some that don't make a peep so it really just depends on your ferrets mine aren't overly vocal but um there definitely has been times, especially when I first got them, where I was really worried that they were hurting each other. And then over time, um, and through a lot of just research and videos and just information, um, I learned that that was not the case. And that 99.9% .9 of the time in my situation, they are just playing. But in this video, I will discuss kind of the signs to look for and so maybe it'll help you especially if you have young ferrets or you have a ferret and you're introducing another ferret and maybe just the best ways to try to do that and to maybe eliminate any aggressive behavior if there would be any um my ferrets were always very social so that probably helped in some of this as well so let's get into it okay so let's discuss what ferrets playing together looks like. So two ferrets playing together can typically start off as one ferret chasing another ferret. And then the roles could reverse. They're chasing each other around. They can um, kind of ambush each other where I know for me, I watch my two boys, um, Bear will chase Weasel and he gets on Weasel's back and then somehow Weasel flips him over and now weasels on top and they go back and forth like this and then sometimes they grab each other by the neck and they roll each other over they call it an alligator roll um there may sometimes be little noises like little chirp noises little duke noises uh they do a lot of this mouth opened um where they're like at each other um and they're just like two mouths are open like they're not biting each other they look ridiculous it's actually really cute um and they go back and forth and then you know they run around and they chase each other and, and but they don't flee no one is fleeing so if they're chasing each other maybe weasel will run but then weasel comes back at bear and bear comes back at weasel and there's this tuffle back and forth and sometimes it ends where they both get tired and go their separate ways um sometimes one gets defeated and um in in what i mean by that is it's always sometimes it's a thing about dominance you know who's the dominant ferret um so you know when that happens sometimes bear will go hide underneath the vanity because he's had enough he's not hiding he's just tired he doesn't want to play anymore you win weasel i'm done um and vice versa it happens the other way so these are things that are pretty normal and they do bite each other and they do scruff each other by the neck and they do roll each other over and and it can look a little rough but these are normal um play tactics that that 
ferrets do with each other. This is normal. And they have very tough skin on the back of their neck. So again, there's no blood being drawn. No one is, is um, hissing. There's no high pitched noises that seem like painful. And so, you know, it kind of just, that's play and, and it can look rough, but it's okay. And then if we want to talk about when there's like an aggressive or when, when your ferrets are aggressive and when you should maybe be concerned or maybe just pay a little bit more attention to them when they're play playing is when it's no longer playing. And the difference is, is that some of those same behaviors will take effect. There will be like an ambush where they chase each other back and forth, or one will be maybe more relentlessly chasing than the other. If one of your ferrets is being chased and is trying to flee and the other ferret will not stop chasing them and the ferret being chased, you know, starts to poop or pee out of fear, that is not play anymore. Um, if there's a lot of hissing going on, um, that is also not play. That's not to say that your ferrets may hiss during play as well, but it's it's probably very short. It's not um, some kind of like intense, long hissing. Uh, but if they're really hissing at each other or their their tails are what they call bottle brush, where it's all like poofed out, um, and they're, you know, that, that could be a little more aggressive. If your ferrets are bleeding on the back of the neck um, or they're being scruffed and the per, you know, another ferret's biting the back of the neck and is not letting go and is, is shaking and, you know, that's, that, that may be crossing the line of where there's an aggression. I know that it can happen. I think it happens sometimes when you introduce new ferrets too quickly or you don't give them time to acclimate to each other. A good example is when we brought Bear home, he was still a baby and Lucy wanted to establish dominance. So she did try to basically drag him across the floor. Um, to me, this was a little rough. I did stop this. Ultimately, they get along fine. They play, they love each other and we don't have any issues at all. This was over a year ago. There's ways, just like introducing two cats to each other or new dogs to each other, or you know, there's ways to introduce your animals that may cut down on some of that. Um, luckily for me, my ferrets were all brought together when they were very, very young. Weasel and Lucy were siblings and they were together from birth basically until current, presently. Um, same thing with Bear and Ruby. And both sets of siblings were introduced to each other before six months of age. Um, in addition, we've done a lot of socializing. We used to go to ferret play dates where it would be my ferrets and 10 other ferrets. And so my ferrets have always been very, very socialized with other ferrets. But ferrets are like people. There may be some ferrets that they don't like. There's people that I don't like. There's probably people that you don't like. And so it's the same thing in the animal world. Not everyone's gonna get along. So when they're playing with each other though, some people recommend that you don't really intervene. Uh, particularly if it's not overly rough. So there are times where Weasel and Bear play really, they play kind of rough. And for the most part, I don't intervene. I do intervene on occasion if, let's say that Bear has Weasel pinned down for more than 30 seconds, um, I'm probably gonna stop that. A lot of times it's just playing and they egg each other on and they go back and forth and it isn't all one, you know, one doesn't, isn't winning, if you call it that, all the time. So for every time that Bear pins weasel, weasel pins bear. The girls, they play, but they are, they hiss a lot more. They get fed up with each other a lot quicker. They don't ever fight. They typically just get sick of it and they just are like one hisses, the other hisses. That's their sign to each other. Like, I don't wanna do this right now. And they, they back off of each other. But it can seem very rough. And it can be kind of scary if you're concerned that one of them is hurting another one. You don't wanna see that. I mean, it's just, it's stressful and you just don't, you don't like it. But if you don't know how ferrets typically play, you could mistake in their play for aggression. And by intervening in their play, it may be confusing to them. And, it's, and it, it also doesn't let them establish their pecking order, their pack establishment order thingy that animals do. Um, so, you know, unless they're shaking each other, unless one of them is defecating out of fear or is running and can't get away or is bleeding or is hissing crazily, um, it's probably just play and it's probably okay. And, you know, if you have any questions or that's, you have two ferrets that constantly just seem to butt heads, um, and maybe try separating them for a little bit where if you have a like a ferret nation or a critter nation where you can bust the cage into two cages and 
maybe kind of let them acclimate, um, especially if they're new and they haven't known each other very long. In the next video, uh, you'll see Weasel and Bear grabbing each other by the scruff of the neck and alligator gator rolling each other around and just being really rough with each other. This is a great example of ferrets playing. They do this a lot. Um, they play like this and then when they're done, they stop and they go their separate ways. Um, they sleep together, they love each other, and they know when they've had enough. So I don't stop them from playing like this. Ferrets bite each other particularly when they play. Um, that is not a sign of aggression. Um, that is not something to be really nervous about. It is normal, particularly when they're playing with each other. Um, what I was able to do and what I learned is that when it comes to me, instead of allowing them to use me as a bite toy to play like they do with each other, when they were babies and they would want to bite, I would replace my hands with a toy. So if they were coming to bite and they thought that I, and they were doing it as play, I would grab a toy and I would put a toy in their mouth, like basically instead of my hand. And I did this over and over. And so now like when they go to play with me, particularly Weasel, he is so sweet. He'll play and he'll do the whole thing. Like he's gonna get me and he gets, you know, does his whole thing and he never actually bites. It's super cute. He'll wrap his little paws around my hands or my arms and he puts his mouth on me, but he never actually bites down. Some of my girls, they, they get really excited and when they're overly excited, they will bite, but they don't do it um, they're not doing it to try to hurt me, they're playing. Typically when that happens, um, I will kind of back away from playing or I will just play with them with a toy instead of with my hands because I don't want them to mistake in my hands as a toy because they do bite hard and they bite each other hard and that is not abnormal and I cannot punish them for being ferrets and biting me and thinking that I'm a toy when I am playing and engaging and play with them. They typically don't bite. Outside of play, if I'm just handling them or I'm feeding them or I'm holding them or I'm loving on them or whatever, they don't try to bite. Um, they really only play bite and that again that's if I'm playing or I have them wound up or we're all on the floor doing blankets and playing rope toys and all those things I mean they're you know they're they're just playing so know your ferrets and know kind of how to engage with them particularly in play that will show them or teach them not to you think that you are the toy or that you are another ferret and that it's okay to chomp down on you <laughs> like they do on their brother or sister. It will hurt. And you don't really want to teach them that that's okay. So that is my tips and just insight on being able to distinguish whether your ferrets are playing or whether they are fighting. Um, I did put some stuff in the description, some links to some um, research, just some good articles that kind of explain it a little more in depth. And if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for a cute clip of Ferret Playtime. Mm -hmm.